In this video about the electric conversion of a Jaguar S-Type, we're going to take you through the stripping of the donor car, then the design and build of the battery boxes. The donor car came to us as a non-runner, having been involved in a heavy crash, so the first job was to get it running again so we could test everything. We had to replace damaged control modules, free on off bent drivetrain parts, just basically reassemble all the stuff that had stopped it from running. As you can see here, yeah, um, there's a massive amount of damage. This car was never going to be repairable. It had bent the chassis neck. So we actually went through everything, made sure that all the systems were okay before we started working on it, that it was safe. And then we were able to go through and like you can see there, some of the control boards were, were smashed up. So we repaired or replaced those and then got it ready for being able to actually move so that we could actually do some testing on it. Access. Once running and tested, we needed to strip out the motor stack and the battery. This is what it looks like when they're out of the actual car, the battery on the right and the motor on the left. Then once we had the battery taken out, we opened it up and stripped it down to its component level. So we needed to be able to get the modules out and also the bus bars and all the internals, the, the mount plates and everything like that. We try and recycle as much of the battery as possible. The only thing that we're left up with is the case, which can go to the scrapyard and be used as recycled steel. Next task was to design the battery boxes that would now house the modules in the Jaguar. As you can see, this is the rear battery box, well, no, you can't see, but that's where it is. Um, it has to contain uh, 12 of the modules and you have to have compression plates, mount points, um, has to be able to fix into existing mount points in the vehicle, um, has to be safe, has to have all the connectors on there. And this is the front battery box, which is just the same. This one is shown without the actual modules in, but you can see that it's got a lid on the top and the side, um, so that we can actually put uh, the contactors and stuff in the side box and obviously get the, the modules into the battery. Once designed on the computer, I always like to trial fit wooden forms to test the dimensions. Kind of a double check just to make sure. After a few weeks, the boxes arrived from the laser cutters pre-bent and the initial welding done. And then we have to finish off the, 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 the minor parts of welding and put the mount plates and stuff that you saw in the 3D CAD model. So this is what they looked like when the first company was. Uh, bare steel, but all precision bent and all of the, um, all of the holes for the, the plugs and everything are already laser cut into the boxes. Here you can see the box painted and the trial fit of the batteries, both the back and the front box. Um, and then this is what they actually look like when they are just about ready to drop into the car. Once the modules are installed, connected and wired, the boxes are fitted into the car. Here's the fitment of the rear box. You can see it's got legs that fit down to existing mount points at the front but also at the, the rear as well. That's just to make sure that we don't have to cut, drill or weld. You can see it's got our lovely logo engraved on the front of the box there. And then round to the front of the car, you can see there's the front box installed without its lid on yet, because the lid was still getting engraved at this point. And just a quick show around what it looks like in the engine bay whilst it's very messy with all of the wiring getting installed. Thanks for watching. Please comment below if you'd like to know more. Give us a like if you've enjoyed this video and if you haven't done already, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you can get notified of more classic car EV conversion videos. See you in the next video and keep charging ahead.